Welcome back to another video editing tutorial using the free software Caden Live. In our last video, we used this butterfly and this image of this uh, coastline to create uh, to sh demonstrate the chroma key green screen effect. We're going to repeat that in this one because we're going to be going over animation and showing how to actually move this butterfly across the screen and animate in Caden Live. Um, so first of all, we're just going to reapply the chroma key. We find the chroma key under alpha manipulation, we'll just drag it on top of the butterfly and then we click here on this little drop and select our color and that will uh, should change everything Let's, when we go in here. Yeah, so that changes everything so that we can actually see now uh, the background. So now we can see our background. The butterfly is kind of flying here. We can kind of scroll through and see what this looks like. But the butterfly is staying there and it's not moving and so we might want to adjust the size of it too or change some different things. So what we can do, uh, let's erase all this, go back to our effects and we'll go to crop and transform and then we'll get a transform. So not all effects um, allow for animation but transform is one that does. And if ever you, ha you pull in an effect and it has this little bar at the top with a, with a couple triangles, you know that you can perform, you can do animation or you can set keyframes and have that effect applied differently at different points of the clip. Um, so what we're going to do, we have these different buttons here. Right now, this triangle, if we notice, moves according to where we're at on our timeline. So if we move our timeline towards the end of the video, this triangle is towards the end. And we can also move the triangle here on the timeline, uh, I mean up here, and it'll move the playhead on our timeline. So these are tied together. If we hit this triangle with the line at the start of it, it goes to the first frame of our video clip. And if we go to the, click this, it goes to the last frame of our video clip. And so we notice at the first frame there is, if we come here to the middle and look, there's a red triangle at the start. That's our key frame. So we're st we have a key frame starting at the beginning. To make this uh, butterfly animate or move, we need to set at least one more key frame. And a good place to do it just for starting is to set it at the end of the video clip. So let's hit this arrow to go to the end of the video clip. Make sure that the playhead's at the end of our video. And then we'll hit the plus sign. And that adds a key frame. So now I have a red triangle at the end. It's kind of hard to see. And I have a triangle at the beginning. So that's how we know we have two key frames. Then anything that, any way that we change this um, butterfly, the size of it or the location of it, any of these settings that we change below here, it will, it will, transition, I guess you can say, between what was happening at the first keyframe and what's happening at the last keyframe. So let's go back to our first keyframe. We see it looks like this. Okay, so it's this size. Maybe we want at our first keyframe, let's resize it down. And let's have the butterfly be over here towards the left a little bit lower, about that size. And then we see there's a line here. So it's showing us where it's going by the last keyframe. So let's go to the last keyframe and see, okay, so it's gonna be this size and it's gonna be uh, at, at this position. So we can resize that too and move it. And maybe we want it even smaller, like forward. So now it's going to be, it's gonna go from this first keyframe to this last keyframe over the duration of, uh, it's about only one second is all, of our, all that our video clip is. So now we can just come and play that and see what that'll look like. So we go back to the beginning, hit play, and we see our butterfly is kind of flying along that path. It happened really short, but I can kind of drag along and show you. So it's, this is just what's happening. The butterfly is flying, the background's moving. We've created an animated little butterfly here. And we don't have to just do, if we go back in, click on this track, and we go to the effects for the transform. As long as we're on our keyframe, if we're in the middle, Look, we, have, we can't control any of these. We can't change the size or anything because we're not on a keyframe. So you have to always be on a keyframe. So you can click on this frame or you can use these start and end. And if we wanted it to do something different, we can go to the middle and we can add a keyframe in the middle and we can have it do something like this, like fly up and then over. And so now if we do that, look what will happen. It'll fly, it'll go up and follow this sort of path we've set for it and then it'll go over. So we've created a, yeah, an animation there doing that. Let's go back to the very first keyframe. 
And we can also change some different things. Um, what did we do? We, we did scale. So one other thing we can change is rotation. So we can rotate this butterfly a little bit as it's flying. We can have it rotate so it starts like this. Maybe it's going to fly. If we want it to fly up, we can have it. We don't want it to be too extreme. But then that'll change the rotation. And as it's going, it's going to rotate around. So we can change rotation and scale and different, uh, different properties that way. So I would recommend you play with this. If you didn't watch the last video, go ahead and watch it because I show where to download this green screen butterfly. It's actually a pretty good object for learning how to get started in uh, animating in uh, Caden Live. Um, what else? And then maybe watch some other videos on actually how keyframing and how video works. If you're kind of getting confused <clears throat> and it's not working well, just make sure you always have to add in this keyframe and you can't add it where an existing keyframe is or you won't have any movement. Um, what else? Okay, so you can also change the opacity, which doesn't really help us in this case, but if by this keyframe, if you want the opacity to be down like at 32%, it changes so that this is kind of like not very bright. Um, not, well, not very bright. It's not, it's transparent. And so now if we do that, it starts out with full, all the full colors. And then by the time it gets to that keyframe, it's changed to not, to like almost see through. And then it becomes light again. So we wouldn't want to do that in this case, but sometimes you want, I just want to show you that opacity is also keyframable. So you can have an object fade in as part of the animation. Uh, yeah. So that's it. So watch for some of these other ones have, you can keyframe the audio, some of these audio things on, under um, audio corrections. There's this volume that's keyframable. So you can set a keyframe with your audio too sometimes. So maybe you want to have it start out kind of soft, and then at a certain portion of the video, you want to have it be loud again. You can use the keyframe on audio to do that too. So go ahead and just play with this. Watch this tutorial over again if you need to, and follow the steps that I did. And just get familiar doing that, because you can do a lot of cool stuff with animation, video over top of video. We could add in a third object and animate it in. You can rotate and have, you can create your own transitions, basically, uh, using animation and uh, transparent layers. So hopefully you found this informative. Go ahead and like and subscribe, comment below, and I'll catch you in the next video.